You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about Emi Udoka, the head coach of the Boston Celtics, as you guys already know, because Rhodes has put out a video. This man is in some serious hot water. It looks like he may actually be suspended for the entire NBA season. Uh, training camp is actually going to be starting here, I believe, in a couple of weeks. And Brad Stevens may actually come back down from the uh, front office to actually coach this team. Emi Adoka is in serious, serious trouble. This man had an inappropriate relationship, a sexual relationship with somebody in the organization. You just can't do that, folks. You cannot do that. But when it comes to uh, woke ESPN, Stephen A. Smith, this man is playing the race card now with this. Even though it was actually Emi Odoka, who just so happens to be black, he broke team rules. It's just that simple. Race should not actually be a factor in this whatsoever. But check this out, guys. Over here on OutKick, Stephen A. Smith says Emi Odoka could get away with improper relationship with woman if he were white. Folks, I believe this is very, very false. This is ESPN yet again trying to play the race card just because Emi Odoka is, is probably going to get suspended for the entire season. And guys, this uh, tweet here is actually from um, WCVB. This is the uh, local uh, Boston news station. And it says here, WCVB has confirmed through a lead source that it's almost certain Emi Udoka will be suspended for the season and that uh, Joe Mozella will take over as interim head coach for this season. Now, I didn't know about uh, Joe Mozella until now. I just kind of glanced over this, but I want to uh, share this. So Brad Stevens um, is not going to be coming back uh, to coach this team. But anyway, guys, let's play this clip here of Stephen A. Smith. Now, the first part of um, this is kind of cut off, but um, he actually um, does say this at the beginning because it cuts off. It says, I'm going to take it a step further. I don't appreciate that being done to a brother. So keep that in mind because um, this clip here, I believe it kind of goes into it a little bit into the center. So let's go ahead and play this clip of um, Screaming A. Smith. Ain't that being done to a brother? Because I got news for you, America. There's plenty of white folks in professional sports that's doing their thing. And I say that not complimentary. I don't see the information out about them. Why are we talking about this now? We got to talk about it because it's the news. Ain't none of our damn business unless you fire him. But if you keep him, it's none of our business. Mm -hmm. It should have never been. It should have never been put out there by the Celtics organization. And don't tell me you didn't do it. Because you absolutely did it. Because news reporters got it. So it emanated out of Boston. Somebody ain't in L.A. or Utah or something leaking this stuff about the Boston Celtics. Right. This is on y'all. You shouldn't have been out here. That's what I have to say. So he's trying to blame the Boston Celtics for Emi Odoka actually breaking the team rules. It ain't like this guy was just uh, cheating on Neil Long with somebody outside the organization. If that was the case, this would be pretty much a non-story. Or if it if it was a story, he wouldn't even be suspended or anything because he wasn't breaking team or NBA rules. This man broke NBA rules, actually Boston Celtics rules here. And I believe, folks, if you go into any organization and they have rules against inappropriate or sexual relationships with um, people in an organization and you do it, guess what? You're going to get in trouble. And the reason why this is a bit story is because this man's the head coach. This man is supposed to be the leader of the team. It ain't like he's the uh, the 12th man on the bench or somebody working in accounting that was doing this. Nobody would care. This man is the leader. Guys, when I was in the Navy. Our. Command Master Chief, which is the highest enlisted person, the highest enlisted rank in the Navy. This man actually got a DUI or DWI. Guess what? 
the command, the Navy, removed him from the ship. And it was big news, folks. There was a meeting on this. Why? Because he was the command master chief. And he was also white, by the way, um, Stephen A. Smith, just throwing it out there. He was white. He was removed from leadership on the ship because of that. Now, if this was um, some, you know, E1 bottom of the totem pole sailor. It would have been a non story. It would have been a non story. Yeah, he would have been punished. But he wouldn't he wouldn't have got removed from the ship because he wasn't in leadership position. Amy Adoka is the face of the Boston Celtics. He is coaching this, this team. He's supposed to be leading these men. And he broke team rules. So why in the world are you actually playing the race card on this? I'm one of the bet folks if um, this was a white guy and he did the same thing. Yeah, he was going to get removed, too. I mean, this man broke 10 rules, so obviously he had to get punished. And if Emi Adoka just so happened to just disappear from the team and uh, the interim coach actually comes in, what would the Celtics say? Are they just going to say, hey, that's none of your business? No, they're not. They're going to have to actually explain why he's not on the sidelines. And he's not on the sidelines, folks, because this man broke team rules. Sleeping with another employee of the Celtics. That is a big, big no-no, guys. This is a no-no right here. Stephen A. Smith, man, he's always talking about as a black man, as a black man, this all the time. But he doesn't. it seems like he doesn't want Emi Adoka to be held accountable. Could it be going on in other teams, too? Probably. Maybe so. But I highly doubt, you know, that other head coaches are actually engaging in the same behavior as Emi Adoka. Maybe they maybe they just haven't got caught yet. Maybe not. But I'm willing to bet, guys, the same thing would happen to another coach, regardless of race. If they actually did the same thing. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.